Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pratik Joshi and today in this video I'm going to show you how we can perform face retouching or skin retouching and this task will be completely automated with the help of Python. So let's get started. This is the input image that we are going to use and I'll try to you know retouch the face of this uh, person in the image. So this is the before image and after performing the task this is something that we are going to get. So as you can see only the face has been smoothened and not the rest of the image. So in this tutorial we will use a library called Facer. Okay, so Facer library allows us to perform face parsing. Face parsing means detecting the key components in a human face and also perform segmentation. So the first thing is to install this library and we can install this library like this by running this line of command. It will take a few minutes on Google Colab and then you are good to go. Next, I am importing a few libraries and their modules. And the good thing about this Facer library is that you can run it on CPU as well. And it takes around 25 to 30 seconds to process one image. Next, I will load the input image. So before loading the input image, you have to upload your image on Kaggle session if you're using Kaggle. So just open the side panel, click on the upload option, select your image from your system and it will be uploaded like this. After that, you can run this cell. Then we will run this cell and it will detect the faces in the image. So it can detect multiple faces as well. If there are more than two or more than one faces in your image, it will be able to detect them. After detection, we will perform segmentation. So like I said before, segmentation is pixel level selection of object of interest. So here the object of interest is a human face. And with the help of this model, we can perform segmentation. This will take a few seconds, 20 to 30 seconds, depending on the size of the image. And the output of this segmentation process will be saved in this variable faces. So as you can see, it took around 22 seconds. Now let me show you the output. Okay, so it's basically a dictionary that contains uh, a few tensors. Okay, and at the end, it also contains a list, right? So this is an important list. Here we can see that it contains a few items that are related to the image. The first item is background. That's basically the background behind the person in the image. Then we have the face. That's the face of the subject. RB, it represents right eyebrow. LB represents left eyebrow. Then RE represents right eye, LE represents left eye. Then we have nose, upper lip, mouth, lower lip and hair. So these are the 11 items that our model with the help of facer is able to segment in the image. Okay. Now for our task of face retouching, we will first extract the nose. Okay and the nose is at 7th 
uh, position so therefore i am using 6 as my index number let me display the image so as you can see in this image the nose is highlighted as compared to the rest of the image okay so we can use this image or heat map to create a mask for the nose of the person and that can be easily done first you have to convert this tensor into a numpy array okay and then with the help of numpy.where function we can you know set the values based on a condition so the condition is wherever the value in the array is greater than 0 make it 1 or else make it 0 so the output array or output image will have only two values 0 and 1 let me run the cell and there you go so the entire image is black and the pixels that represented the nose of the person they are white in color okay so we can use this black and white image as a mask later on similarly we will perform face segmentation so in the previous case we extracted the image or the heat map that contained the nose of the person now we will extract the heat map that uh, contains the face of the person okay and if you go and check the list the face is at second position and therefore i am using index number one to extract the face heat map so there you go you can see the face of the person is highlighted uh, more prominently as compared to the rest of the image now over here i am using the same numpy where function to you know set the values based on the condition and there you have the mask for the entire face please note that the eyes eyebrows lips and nose are black so that means uh, they are not part of this mask only the white region is part of this mask but when we retouch the face we also uh, perform retouching over the nose right so what i'll do i'll combine this mask and the previous mask the mask uh, that had the nose i'll combine them into a single mask so that i can have a complete mask for the face and we can combine uh, these masks very easily in python you just have to simply add these two masks and use clipping function of numpy to make sure that the uh, values in the array fall between 0 and 1 okay because it can happen let's say there is uh, there are two corresponding pixels in both the mask and their value is 1 so if you add them it will be 2 but we don't want the values to be greater than 1 so therefore we are using clip okay otherwise it's a simple uh, addition of two arrays now let me display the combined mask so as you can see uh, now the mask contains the entire skin of the face except the eyes eyebrows and the lips Now let's get started with the face retouching part. The first step is to load the image and then we will convert the image into a numpy array. Let me display the original image. Okay, so this is the uh, input image that we'll be working on. Now to perform face retouching, there are many techniques, many methods and I'm not saying this is the best method to do this task, but this is definitely 
uh, a quick method and this entire process can be automated so if you have hundreds of images or thousands of images you can apply this process on those images and get your output very quickly within minutes so here i'm using open cv and there is a filter called bilateral filter so this filter will kind of smoothen the image and it also tries to keep the edges intact and these are the parameters of this filter let me run it and also display the output image so this is the output image that we have got after applying bilateral filter so you can see the skin of the face has been smoothened but the rest of the image also has a uh, blurred because of the filter okay now this is where we are going to use our mask the black and white mask to make sure only the skin of the face is impacted and not the remaining image all right and that can be done simply with this single line of code so here basically what i'm doing i'm changing the pixels in this image that belong to black portion of our mask image and those pixels will be replaced by the pixels of the original image all right let me run it and now this is the final output image there you go so now you can see that only the face has been uh, smoothened and not the rest of the image the rest of the image is same as the input image and here i'll display the input image and the final output image so that you can compare it easily there you go you can see in the input image the face we have lots of freckles on the skin and in the output image it is completely smoothened out and we can run this script in one go without putting in any manual input we you just have to pass your input image and you are going to get your output image it will automatically detect the face it will perform uh, it will create the mask for that face and it will perform smoothening with the help of bilateral filtering and you can get this output image and this is how you can write or save your image the output image as a jpeg file if i run it my file will appear here in the side panel and to download it in my system just click on the three dots and click on download this is how you can save it in your local system